Hello and welcome back to some more Magic the Gathering Popper. Today playing some Hot Dogs, Kennel Fiend, uh, whatever you want to call this deck. So I put out a poll on YouTube. I was like, hey, what do you guys think the best deck in Popper is currently? And uh, I believe most of you actually voted for Burn. I should probably look and pull this up. But I had a, quite a few comments saying Infinity. And Infinity is still pretty damn good. I, I've come across this deck a bunch. Uh, it seems very powerful. It looks like hot dogs and fairies were tied. Uh, but according to MTG Goldfish, it's hot dogs. <laughs> What's the most popular anyway? So I figured we would play this. This looks kind of fun. Um, I've kind of played something similar to this in the past in a casual format of, uh, you know, like a prowess, red blue prowess deck kind of thing. Uh, I've played decks kind of built around this idea before, like pre release and drafts and stuff. So, like, I got an idea. It doesn't mean I'm going to do very well or not make some massive misplays, but I got an idea, and this is just kind of a punish kind of deck. So what is this deck? Uh, Hot Dogs or Kennel Fiend or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this version is a mono red splash green for Xian, where the mana base is simple. 16 red and two forgotten caves. You can cycle the forgotten caves. Uh, the idea is we have very little creatures, but we have a ton of pump stuff. So basically the idea is we play a creature and then kill them. And we do that with cards like Lightning Bolt that we can do three to damage to their face. Lava Dart, which is two if we sack a mountain. Um, Crash Through gives our creatures trample so they can trample over. We get to draw a card. Mutagen Growth pumps our creatures uh, basically in every way. Apostle's Blessing could protect the creature from removal or get the creature through. Tamir Battle Rage for that uh, trample and double strike. Manamorphose to just trigger prowessy effects and draw again. So there's a lot of just play spells and then kill. And with the creatures, we have Monetary Swiss Spear, which might be one of the best one drops in the format, is a 1 2 haste with prowess. If you're unfamiliar with prowess, anytime you play an instant or sorcery card, I don't know if Prowess triggers off of anything else, to be fair. I don't know if it's like any non-creature spell, but I believe it's just instant sorcery. It gets plus one, plus one to end a turn. So every card we play gives Swift Sphere a pump, regardless of what the effect is. Then we have Festival Crasher and Kennel Fiend as our next two drops. Festival Crasher being a 1-3, Kennel Fiend being a 1-2. Anytime we play an instant or sorcery, Festival Crasher gets plus two, plus zero. And Kennel Fiend gets plus three, plus zero. Kennel Fiend obviously getting the bigger pump. So if we Lightning Bolt to their face, that's three damage to their face. And then Kennel Fiend becomes a 4-2. And so the idea is you keep pumping. You dump a handful of spells in one turn. And then you kill face. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Uh, for a sideboard, we have Electricery. That deals with a lot of 1-1 dorks. Flame Slash, which deals with some bigger dorks. Red Elemental Blast for the countery matchups. Satyr's Cunning. Create a 1-1 one, one red Satyr creature token that with this creature can't block. The idea for this is sac effects. So, yeah, we have Apostle's Blessing to protect it from individual removal spells. But we don't have anything to protect. And I mean, we have like mutagenic growth and stuff to outgrow burn spells for removal. But sac effects like Chainer's Edict is very popular in the format. Satyr's Cunning is hopefully going to pad our field to not be so devastated to a Chainer's Edict. Flaring Pain stops any damage from being prevented. And then Underworld Rage Hound, which is one I need to read in a second for reply to a text. Um, uh... Okay, uh, Underworld Rage Hound is a 2-drop, 3-1. Attacks each combat, if able, has escape by exiling other cards. Exiles with plus 1, plus 1 counter. So I'm assuming Rage Hound is probably brought in for the more heavy, like, removal decks. Would be my guess. Um, don't hold me to that. Uh... Could also maybe be if you come across that random mill deck, I suppose. Uh, but there it is. 
So let's get into some, to, uh, some games with hot dogs. And uh, maybe. Not a lot of people playing currently. And we're right into a game. Good. But this is a deck I've wanted to try out. It just looks really fun. Uh, this is a mulligan, I think, because we don't have a creature. A lot of other good stuff. This is a keep. Uh, Faithless Looting will hopefully find us our second mana. Um, I'm actually going to bottom the crash through, I think. I'd rather have the two creatures for just in case Casey's. Probably just going to lead on the Faithless Looting. Pitch anything that isn't a land, basically. <laughs> There's not a lot of land in this deck, so... Um... Shoot. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> that might not have been the best. Let's see what our opponent leads on. I like running out Swiss Spear actually better this turn. There's an argument for Kennel Fiending, but I think Swiss Spear is going to be the better. I could be very wrong on that aspect, but draw forge bridge. It's hard to tell what our opponent's on here. It's still hard to tell. <laughs> you never know. Okay, so they're on some kind of affinity build. Just run out kennel fiend here. We have a potential to do a ton of damage next turn, hopefully. They're probably going to get Frogmite down, though. Uh, which we could... If they do get Frogmite down, we could just Lightning Bolt it. Preferably, they go Ichor Wellspring, Land, and Frogmite. Really want to avoid a Gal Blast here. We can... Chainers. Uh, I mean, if they have the Gal Blast, they have it. You know what I mean? They're going to play Frogmite. Alright, so depending on what we draw, we could really hammer them here. I want to pick uh, red, red. All right, so we can lightning bolt that guy. Lava dart your face. Lava dart your face. And then just win. Okay. Okay. Was that a turn? No, I don't think that was turn three. Turn four. Um, There's an argument for Satyr's coming. Definitely an argument for the Rage Hound. There's not a very good argument for anything else. I guess Flame Slash is a pretty good argument. Because of... Uh, they probably got the Chunky Boy. So I guess the question is, what do we trim out here? It's a good question, ain't it? Um, I also might trim out the crash throughs. 
I know trample's important, though. Hmm. <laughs> um. I don't know. I don't know what we trim down here. Trim down the reckless impulse. I'm gonna try this and probably regret it. That's it's. This is like one of those decks where, in most cases, the deck is already so tightly put together that it's really hard to be like. I'm going to keep this hand. We draw one land. It's a lot better. Um, This is one of those decks where the deck itself is so tightly put together that you could... Uh, It's really hard to sideboard when it's not super obvious. So there, obviously there's going to be some matchups where clearly some cards are going to be better than others. You know, like there's going to be matchups where some cards are basically worthless until you want to swap out. Um, This is one of those matchups where I'm not entirely sure... You know, what is the call to pool? Duress. Personally, I think I'd take the Manamorphos here. Manamorphos allows us, if we draw a land, to go pretty deep in one turn. Nope, Apostle's Blessing, so that means they got some kind of targeted removal. Actually meant to Manamorphose. And then Lava Dart, but it is what it is. I hit him for four here, though. As long as they don't duress me this turn, I'm just going to Manamorphose into something. That was rude. Gal blast my Swiss Spear. I'm like, can I kill you this turn? I don't think so. Let's just Manamorphose. Maybe if they didn't kill that other one, I could have. Okay, can I? So, two, four... Five. I think I can. Lava Dart you. Give you Double Strike. What the fuck is this deck? <laughs> what the fuck is this deck? What it was that? That's absurd. Is that a turn three kill with just Swiss Spear? That felt unreal. Oh, we're match back up. I wonder if they keep in the match or if they bounce. That was insane. Very good. Oh. Welcome back. This is a great hand. Oh, 
couple turn three. I th think game one was turn four. I'm going to fire off this lightning bolt here, I think. There's an argument for keeping it, though, but... Lead on Kennel. Big Daddy Mirror Enforcer. Um, another mutagenic growth um this would almost put it out of yeah blast range but not quite. Well, moment of truth. Do you have it? Do you have it? Gal blast in the damage step. Do it. Nope. Then we have the win with Lava Dart. I definitely think bringing in Flame Slash is good against him. That must have been what they drew this turn. They lose speed. Yeah, I definitely feel like Flame Slash is good. Nice. Well played, opponent. Yeah, Reckoner's Bargain is pretty good. I can't imagine this Festival Crasher lives. Nope. Okay, Cruel Spring. Probably still not, though.
Manamorphos off the top we win, I'm pretty sure. Not quite, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, Manamorphos we win. I wonder if they're digging for something here. There it is. You got the Kark Clan Shaman. That's pretty good against us. And he did not do it right. Yeah, people don't click this Kark uh, Clan Shaman very well. They don't set that up very well. To be fair, how it stacks is really janky. I'll give you that, opponent. Manamorphos is how we we got to get Manamorphos or we don't win. Um. No, I'm not going to do that. Hmm. Opponent, you got one turn to figure it out. Oh, I meant to play the Forgotten Cave. Damn it. Well, that's pretty good, too. Yeah, the Reckoner's Bargain saved him. That's for sure. It's probably going to be the game winner. That Reckoner's Bargain. It is worth noting we can just mutagenic growth at any time to hopefully avoid. We auto yielded. We did the same thing. All right. I'm going to give it one turn to find something and then I'm just going to scoop. Damn it. Why do we auto yield? All right. Go to game two. Um, I think I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. Bring in these flame slashes. Bring in, I think, the satyr's cunning and bring in the underworld. Rage hound. Let's go down. Crasher is nice because you get to draw off of it. But it's definitely like the weakest of the bunch here. Definitely go down the Reckless Impulses. They do have Chainer's Edict, but like how many copies, you know? Is that enough to actually bring in the Satyr's Cunning? I'm not going to. If they get us this time, I don't, I don't care. We'll go down two Crash Throughs. Run it like that. That's kind of where I'm at with it. It's like, if they get us, they get us, you know. I would like to go first. I would like to mulligan. I'm going to hesitantly keep this one. Oh, I bought him Apostle's Blessing. Everything else is kind of good. There's a strong argument for just mutagenic growthing here, but. I think I'd rather keep mutagenic growth for potential, like. Get out of free jail card against Gal Blast. Let's not pass priority anymore. How about that? Well, can we just do that? Because we can. Honestly, Faithless Looting is probably better here to try to find a second mana source. <coughs> I 
ditch you, and I'm going to... Dude, I don't want to ditch this Manamorphose, but I also don't want to ditch Lightning Bolt. Oof. <laughs> oh, it's got to be Manamorphose. That hurts. Play. That's not a pleasant feeling. <laughs> Just pitching a Manamorphose. Yeah, that doesn't feel good. That feels real bad. I don't like Manamorphose as a card. I think it should be banned in every format. I don't like free spells, but... I don't mind free spells and then, like, muted, like, Phyrexian mana because you lose life to cast it, but... And let's save, uh, why we, that's why we held on to Mew Genogrowth, that right there. Play, play. Bolt you. Trigger the Swift Spears a bunch. Attack. We're one land away from escaping the Rage Hound. Yeah, not being able to Mana Morphose twi twice kind of sucks, but... It is what it is, you know? I do need something kind of good here. Their something kind of good was a little better than our something kind of good. Well, there's that. Uh, that's not the best. We can't cast it, though. So they would have to double spell to remove this Swiss Spear. <laughs> Finally found another piece of mana. There's that frog mite I figured was coming. Oh, there goes my apostle's blessing. Might lose this matchup. Well, that's not worth it, is it? Oh, boy. It might be worth it just to trigger a Swiss spear. Not gonna block. Yeah, I don't feel super confident this game. <laughs> game one, we got a hell of a power start. But this game, we've kind of twiddled out twice now. To be fair, to be fair, it might have been different if I had that festival crasher and did not. Oh, that dude's annoying. And did not. Um, do the thing. Did not auto yield. We could have mutagenic growth. Who knows? You know what I mean? I didn't like the position we were in, but who knows? And like I said, that, that, uh, do not let that. Okay. He got it that time. Um, who knows? Maybe I think that Reckoner's bargain really got them that game for sure. Um, 
Release the beast. One, two, three. Done. So, I mean, you know, there's there's always that. The game one just kind of went a little south for us, unfortunately. And like I said, I'm not... This is my first time playing the deck. I've played decks like it, but this is my first time playing the deck. So who knows how good I've been at playing it. So they find the Gal Blast. Nope, Lightning Bolt. Well, same thing. Basically, same thing. It's actually a good argument for just holding on to that. You know, there's actually a really strong argument for just holding on to our land in hand so we can flash back uh, Faithless Looting. We'll be persistent with our Hellhound here. Any land we draw from now on, we're going to hold for Faithless Looting. There's a Frogmite. Chainers? No, Reckless Bargaining. Quit playing that card. <laughs> That's specifically good against us. <laughs> okay, Deadly Dispute. Draw X a million. Found two Gal Blasts and one Lightning Bolt. So we know, we know there's still some floating around in their deck somewhere. And it's going to hit our Rage Hound this turn. They found one. <laughs> All right. Let's draw Apostle's Blessing, shall we? That'd be kind of nice. Um... They're at cleanup. Guess who's back, 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 back again. JD's back, back, back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back, guess who's back. I'm just going to hold on to crash through. Cancel. Wish Crash it was instant speed, but it is what it is. <laughs> oh, there's the third Icker Wellspring or the fourth? I don't know. It feels like they've played one, two. Yeah, that's the fourth one. I was like, it feels like they've gotten them all. Uh, leave my boy alone. There's the big dude. Eventually, I will run out of cards in the graveyard, but damn it, if I ain't gonna try. <laughs> if I ain't gonna try to play this hellhound, this under underworld rage hound. Leave my boy alone. Another frog might. Oh, come on. All right, it's dead, dead now. To be fair, they've got to be running out of removal, right? We've yet to draw a kennel fiend. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, I'm pretty sure we're 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 
getting to a point where out of this game, especially they start playing mirror enforcers. Well, there's or that dude, I suppose, is gonna be enough to deal the. Well, there's the fiend. We are in a spot where he's got to wipe his board to deal with our Kennel Fiend, so there's that. They could just have the fourth Gal Blast or any of the three Lightning Bolts in hand still. Or another chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or they could just flashback Chainer's Edict. If they Edict, if they remove Kennel Fiend, I'm just scooping. Or there's that guy. <laughs> I suppose that's a card that exists as well. All right. Well, we're 1v1 <laughs> against uh, our friend there. <laughs> Can we get into a third game with him? I feel uh, I feel like we needed to have a tiebreaker there. This hand, I don't think... I'm gonna keep it. We could Faithless Looting for a second land. Potentially. I don't like seeing a swamp here. Mono Black Control feels like a deck that's virtually impossible to win against with this deck. Okay. It's a carrying feeder-ish deck. Carrying feeder is scary on its own right, though. I'll give him that. Uh, okay. We don't have a way to deal with that. Wish we had a Manamorphose, but we don't. Like I said, this is one of those matchups where if they have like a decent amount of removal, we're just kind of done for. The village rights away their own carrion feeder? That's odd. I mean, I guess Carrion Feeder doesn't. Maybe you're more about trying to find... Okay, or that. Neat. This is just some kind of zombie deck. It's Carrion Feeder back in hand. Now they have a blocker. It doesn't really matter. As long as I don't do something to remove this dude. Land would be awesome here. That works as well. Can we do 20 damage this turn. That's the real question, ain't it? Don't think so. Well, hold on, maybe. And seven, take it up to nine, nine, put it up to 11, 11 with, fuck it, let's find out. When in doubt, spell it out, right? I think it is. Well, let's say I have something. All right, they scoop it. Okay, so what do we want for these for this deck?
Don't know. Their target removal is not going to be very good against like carrying feeder. We're faster, hopefully, than carrying feeder is. I guess maybe Satyr's cunning, just in case they have some removal and underworld rage hound. I think I'm going to go down the reckless impulses. I get why reckless impulses in the deck, but I don't know if that's where we want to be at. Honestly, I might just go down the faithless lootings. And that might be weird to say, but let's try that. I like the idea of Rage Hound potentially being a consistent threat, and then the Satyr's Cunning just always feels nice. I'm going to keep this. <clears throat> turn 1, Swiss Spear. Turn 2, Swiss Spear, Bolt. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm just going to pass. I don't want to run into Swiss Spear, then get to block, and then get a counter to kill Swiss Spear. I'd rather wait till we can pump, like, bolster Swiss Spear a little bit. What is this, dude? When you may have any target player lose life equal number of zombies on the battlefield. Okay. Interesting. Mutagenic growth. So the question now becomes whether or not if I want a kennel fiend or just. I think just lava darting this dude now is probably better here. <clears throat> It might be better to Swift Spear, I mean, uh, to Kennel Fiend. But I like the idea of getting the two Swift Spears out. Next turn, we can just run out uh, Kennel Fiend. And then the following turn, we can just go Ballistic. What my current plan is. The Juka bog, my poor lava dart. Oh well. Uh, another one. Hey, you quit playing that. If they block, then I'm going to lightning bolt their face. No blocks. My guess they're saving a block for Kennel Fiend. I like the idea of this card, but I don't know how practical it is. We find a battle rage or a crash through and we just just win. <laughs> I mean There it is. Start with you. Red, red. Get another kennel fiend.
Crash through. I guess they all get trample, and there's a battle rage to sugarcoat it a little bit more. Three. Lightning bolt your face. Pretty sure we have this. I think that sealed the deal. Yep. All right. 2-1 with uh, hot dogs. Um, the deck feels stupidly powerful uh, <laughs> and very consistent. Obviously, there is a piddle out factor. There's a point to where, you know, your opponent can deal with your little hot dogs and then you're kind of just stuck. Uh, I definitely think in a matchup where there's removal, this Underworld Rage Hound is definitely pretty good. Um, and like I said, I'm getting used to the deck still. Uh, you know, this is a deck where if they gain a good chunk of life, it kind of throws out your math kind of thing. So like Weather the Storm or Reckoner's Bargain, which we saw on match two, definitely um, hurts this deck, but this deck can just blow up went out of nowhere, have absolutely insane hands and draws. Uh, it's got fairly decent top decks for the most part. I can I can definitely see why it's one of the most popular decks. It is very strong. Um, how good this deck would be without Swiss Spear, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> because Swiss Spear is insanely good. Um, not alone when you can add up multiple threats with Fres uh, Festival Crasher and Kennel Fiend. Yeah, it just felt super strong. Um, I can definitely see why this is a super popular deck. It's one of them too, where if you're better at magic than I am and have a little bit more experience with the deck that you could just be obnoxiously OP with it. <laughs> Obviously if your heart of the cards allows you to draw good stuff. Um, but yeah, it just, it felt super strong. Um, so yeah, so that's been a little bit of kennel fiend, hot dogs, hot dog. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, you can press that subscribe button, turn on a little bell notification. Uh, you'll get notifications when I upload. Uh, I'm trying to do magic on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I'm doing Popper 99% of it. I'm a, I really like Popper as a format. I'm also doing other video games, doing some new releases, doing some older stuff. So if you're interested in that, you can check those out as well. Um, I'm starting a series, uh, with a couple buddies on seven days to die that I'm planning on uploading on Sundays. And then I also have a link in the description to my movie channel where I'm doing, uh, like movie reviews and other long form videos like that too. Doing a lot of shorts for movie reviews and then some long form videos as well. So, uh, you can check all that stuff out in the description. And uh, if you liked the video, press the thumbs up button. I'll catch y'all later. Take it easy. Peace.